Seth out in Pittsburgh who needs help making his wife happy. What? But not in the way you think. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll let Seth tell us what he needs help with himself. Hey, Patrick from Veronica, Seth from Philadelphia. Um, my wife and I got married a year ago. We have one of those DV tapes that are about this big. We want to get it onto to the computer to edit it. We need a good pair of freeware application or nice inexpensive video application to edit it. And then we want to be able to throw it back on a DVD in high quality so we can watch it on a big screen TV. Um, suggestions, um, freeze better, but let, please let me know. What a lovely husband you are. Isn't he sweet? All right, well, the first thing you want to do is get that tape digitized. Uh, since you have a DV tape, you'll probably need to find a service that does dubs and have them digitize the tape to a hard drive. Medium, big size city, look for like video services, Video Pro, Ask, you know, yeah, Ask Yeah, there's just straight up dubbing services that'll, yeah. that'll do that for, you know, Mm, not super bucks. cheap, but you know, if it's worth your while, then yeah, it's I worth mean, the money. Last time I had one basically transferred, I think it cost fifty bucks. The thing is, is the deck costs five thousand. They're going <laughs> to run it to a hard drive or a thumb drive or a videotape that you can't access. See if they can get it to like digitize it into a form you can use, probably a .dot move or a .dot avi format, either on a DVD or on a hard drive or on a thumb drive. If they could just said this, um, and then of course you're going to need something to edit with. Right, if you have Windows XP or Vista Home Premium or Ultimate, you can try out Movie Maker and Movie Maker HD and Vista. Uh, they're built-in video editors that'll let you do the basics. If you're an owner of a store-bought Mac, you have iMovie, which I hate, I hate, I hate. I love hate iMovie. iMovie. The new, the, the, the but, interface yeah. redesign twigged me out a lot, but the original iMovie I'm a huge fan no, of. No, I just can't get into it. It's just, it's so... I must use Final Cut to the full version well, of nothing. Well, no, but okay, okay. I was trained how to video edit on Final right. Cut, like a lot of people who went to like did, so you know, took video editing classes for. So I'm a total elitist snob. See, for me, that's yes. like bringing a nuclear bomb to a freaking. Well, now knife I don't fight. know. I can't use iMovie because it doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> like I can't do any of the crap that I'm used to being able to do. Because you, you know want to do I mean? big fancy stuff. Well, no, I mean just. Yeah, never mind. That's this my is problem. A topic it's like I turn, day. I turn every video editing tool into like a freaking 1960s. It's a pain in my ass. Okay. It is a pain in my ass. Most of the rest of you will be perfectly happy with the free tool. As, as an entry level, as a basic tool, you know, iMovie or the tools that are inside of Windows should do you fine. You know, I, I've seen a lot of great videos done straight in iMovie or, yeah. or the, the Windows. Yeah, you can do a lot of great stuff with them. I'm yeah. not I'm not saying you can't. Just for me, it's not not very workable. Um, something else you might want to look into would be like Sony's Vegas Movie Studio. A step up, if you will. Oh, a step up, yeah. It costs 55 bucks and it has a free trial version, so you can, you know, test it out, play around with it, yeah. and see if you like it. Um, plus, it also includes a DVD authoring program. While not too fancy, it will certainly get the job done if you want to make DVDs of your special day and pass yeah. them out to friends and family members. That free tool inside of there. It's not going to handle HD video or burn Blu-ray discs, but it'll support 16 by 9 authoring so you can go widescreen on a DVD. If you do want HD editing along with a disc burning in a single package, check out TMPG Inc. Authoring Works 4. It's a bit more template driven, but this application does provide support for simple HD video editing and disc authoring. Costs a bit more, about 100 bucks, but it also comes with a trial version you can check out that's good for 14 days. Now, there are more than a few open source and free video editing and DVD authoring tools, none of which we can recommend without some pretty serious qualifications, i.e. there's a massive learning curve with most or not all of them, not to mention some understanding of different codecs that you may not want to get into. Yeah, Since you start getting your like, little feet stuck in all that yeah. stuff after a while, and you just want to do something simple, you don't really need to know all that. Yeah, I mean, it's if you don't want to be a video editor, like start with the free tool because you see the face of making it. It's like start with the free tools, or spend some money, or be willing to invest a lot of time because some of the, especially some of the, some of the free tools just get really weird. With married life, I'm sure he doesn't have that much free time these days. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, we probably really recommend shelling out a little bit of cash and saving yourself some pain and trauma if none of the free applications we mentioned earlier don't solve your problems. Try out the trial versions of the paid applications and see if there's something you'd like to keep. Hey, and you know, if you want to do some forward thinking for people who are not yet married, <laughs> put some DVD authoring software on your registry. Oh, hey, what do you know about registry? 